Can anyone hear me? A nuclear device has been detonated in California. General Blackthorn is counted among the dead. Tiberius Rancor has assumed command, and he's blaming the courier for this, but he's lying. We have proof. Rancor is insane. If he isn't stopped now, he'll destroy Portland, along with everything else. Please, if you're listening, do something. Stop him! As you've all heard correctly, Blackthorn is dead. He was killed by an atomic blast that has wiped out an entire city in California. I have confirmed this nuke to have been launched by none other than the Courier. I'll give it to you all straight. This is war. There will be no negotiating peace. Blood will be spilt. Kimball fired the first shot with an atomic bomb of all things. His reign of terror must come to an end today. What are you, what are you doing, Rancor? Like, he's, what are you doing? He's going to war against the NCR, apparently. Even though he was sent by the NCR. Yes. He, this is so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. The scavs that are on the ground would be impressed if we hadn't murdered them all. Whoa! Yeah, if they weren't all dead! Because we killed them. I'm surprised a ship that big can fly! It can't. It seems improbable! The ship's running smoothly. Everything appears to be fully operational, setting course for Shady Sands. Not just yet. There's still one last loose end to tie up here in the frontier. There'll also be a good opportunity to test what this airship is really capable of. Hey guys, what's going on over there? Oh, there's a big flying ship in the sky. What the fuck is that? I, you know, I'm willing to bet that 90% of these legionaries would be shitting their pants at a flying thing. Like, they wouldn't know what that is. They would have no idea. Hey, it's raining death upon us. I know I don't like that. That's as much as I know. Like, you're right, right there. <laughs> I can see you. No, got it. We got another frame. Uh, was it supposed to blow up? Was I supposed to be impressed? Kaboom! Oh, I'm still alive somehow. Hey, Gray's here! Rancor is now headed for the NCR capital as we speak. If we don't do something now, it'll be too late. We just need to get onto the Liberator and expose Rancor. But nobody will believe us! Because we've told them all that we hate them and that their soldiers deserve to die and they're, they're, they're pawns. Oh, I did do that. You've done a lot of good for the NCR in the Frontier. I'm sure many will take your word over Rancor's. We just need to get on that airship and let them know the truth. We're not the only two taking on this mission. I've brought what allies you've made. <laughs> allies, plural. <laughs> um, yep, it's just Grey. <laughs> My yep. head is still spinning from whatever they did to me in that vault. But I'm in control again. Raincore set us up. He led us right into that trap in Vault 9. I bet he's the one behind every sabotage we've experienced in the frontier. I can't wait to get revenge on that bastard. Don't try to pin your crimes on him, Dolus. If that is your real name! Uh, yeah, that's it. Are you ready? We have little time to waste. What the hell happened? Rancor's first recon buddies caught me before I could make it back to Camp Phoenix. They threw me in the prison but I managed to escape while freeing a few other prisoners. I even managed to get your gear back. Hooray! I then hijacked this vertebrate bird and shortly afterwards picked up your radio signal. Okay, well how the hell are we getting on the Liberator? We'll try landing on it and hope they don't shoot at us on sight. If they do fire upon us, we'll take out their turrets. There's the Liberator! Shoot it down! Yeah! Screw you, NCR! Boo! Yeah, nice artillery you had at one point. It's gone now. Suck on this. Man, I could be playing so many better games than this. Uh, we can make a game out of this, you know? Fine, we're playing 20 questions. Okay. Okay, um, let me think of something. Let me think of something. Um, <laughs> I spy with my light, a triangle. No, 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 no. That's, that's I spy. That's not 20 questions. <laughs> You still, it's been like 600 episodes, and you still don't know how to play 20 questions. Is it bigger not, than a bread box? I'm not mad at you, Mike. I'm mad at this mod. Okay. But well, you're going to take your anger out on me. I'm just, I'm angry. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me think of something. Let me think of something. Let me think of something. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, okay go ahead. Uh, um, is it bigger than a bread box? Yes, it is. Is it, is it uh, bigger than the Liberator here? No, it isn't. Okay, is it bigger than a person? 
Yes. Uh, animal, mineral, or plant? Animal. Oh, nope. We exploded. Yeah, we gotta do this over now. Took too much damage. All right. It's bigger than a person, you say? Yes. Is it bigger than a room? No. It's an animal smaller than a room, but bigger than a person. Yes. Is it a fictional animal? No. It's a real animal. Is it a mammal? No. It's not a mammal. Is it a, a bird or a fish? It is a bird. Is it an animal that eats other animals? Um, I'm gonna go with no. It's a real bird that's bigger than a person but isn't carnivorous. Ugh. I, there aren't even any birds that don't eat meat. There are lots of birds that don't eat meat. Not, not if they're bigger than a human. Oh wait, like an emu or something. An ostrich. Yeah, there you go, you got it. Oh, it dang. was an ostrich. It was an ostrich. It's an ostrich. <laughs> okay, so apparently the way you do this part is you just list lazily to one direction. Yup. Until, yeah. and, and wait for your missiles to reload. And blow up all the triangle things on the ship. Oh, this is so dumb. Coming in for a landing. Here we are. Oh. Oh, okay, hooray, you can. Yay, we did it! Our awesome piloting skills, Zach, good job. I got over 50,000 hours logged in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's certainly paying off right now. I, I lied, it's not Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's actually Tetris. <laughs> You forgot to put on armor. Oh, apparently so. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, our companions have showed up! Yay! Hi, guys. It's me. You, you remember me? I was nice to you guys. Listen. We're just here to stop Rancor. He is the one responsible for launching the nuke beep at boop, beep, boop. Town and killing Black. Who has my batteries? Rancor has been operating I under orders from members of the NCR Congress. He's been deceiving us all. We've seen the security footage of you and the courier leaving the nuclear facility shortly after the nuke launched from there. The atomic explosion could be seen in the distance as you two stood there and watched. I take it that you are admiring your handiwork. Pretty damning evidence if you ask me. What evidence do you have to back up your claims? Yeah, why would AJ ever betray Blackthorn after how much she served him? You and AJ are probably in cahoots with one another. Maybe there's a love interest between you two. Also, Blackthorn made me his second in command over you. Isn't that why you decided to kill him and frame me for it? You jelly? That's irrelevant. It made no difference to me. It wasn't enough just to kill Blackthorn. You had to get rid of me if you were going to be the one put in command of the army. Cute little theory, but it proves nothing. I think what we've done for the exiles speaks for itself. Sure. Go ahead. Whoever else wants to be executed along with these traitors, be my guest. The Courier is not the one betraying us. It's Rancor. He's been setting us up. I'll stand by the Courier all the way to the end. I trust the Courier with my life. He would never betray us, no matter what. I stand with the Courier. Badger! I got the Courier's back on this one. Sergeant Johnson! The Courier has shown he can be trusted. I owe him my life. Girl from Archimedes! The Courier risked everything just to save me. I got your back, Courier. The Courier has done good for us. Even when he didn't have to. I'll stand with the Courier. The Courier's got my support. The Courier is a true warrior! With Odin as my witness, I'll gladly die by his side! <laughs> I like you! The Courier's no fucking pushover. I'll place my bet on him. The Courier is a decent man. Only seems right I take my place by his side. I don't know who that is. Oh, we held him like eight, eight, nine, ten months ago? This guy? Oh, yeah, that guy. The guy crippled that, PTSD from Blight Town. Is that everybody? A lot of people on our side. Will you say Rancor? So you've managed to gain a few loyalists. It makes no difference. They'll die along with you. Courier! Rancor still has his first recon goons backing him, along with androids and any other technologies gathered from Archimedes, too. Even with our allies, this is still going to be a tough fight. Utilize everything you got. This is where we make our final push to stop Rancor. I managed to find five more rounds for my anti-material rifle. Just let me know who you want dead and I'll make it happen. Five insta-gibs! I got a few tank busters to make use of. Jesus! How do you want to use them? <laughs> um, uh, just go crazy, man. I'll give them hell. Yeah. I can hack into the turrets laid out in the ship. What would you like me to do to them? Hmm. 
disable their targeting parameters? Well, so, that would shoot at everybody, though. Yeah. Eh, just shut them down. You got it. Take these medical supplies, Courier. Yay! It's the most I can do. You're a terrible doctor, I'm but no thank good you. in a fight, but I can hand you these supplies. Make good use of them. Thanks. What do you give us? Watch out, Courier. I'm about to make short work <laughs> of these fools. John, what the fuck? <laughs> Where did you find it? Do you even know how to use that thing? I've been secretly taking this Titan out on joy rides when no one was around. Oh my god, Just dude. Just watch what I can do with it. <laughs> Slacking right. off pays off in the end. <laughs> All right, we good? Oh, so we're going right now. All right. Woo. Time to die, Rancor. Really wish I didn't have to kill NCR first recom. This is all Rancor's fault. Rancor did this. This is all Rancor. That's how we just apply this. Wow, I just dropped a death claw like it was nobody's business. A cybernetic death claw with cybernetic enhancements. I don't have many rounds for this thing left. <laughs> the man, remember those things used to give us trouble, Zach? Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> Get him! Get him, John! Good job. Oh, you're doing a good job, Sergeant Johnson. You're, you're not doing so hot anymore. John. That's all right. You'll come back. Oh, here. I probably have to use explosives against this thing, don't I? Maybe. Makes it easy, at least. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Let's go make a rancor out of rancor. A rancor is another word for, like, a, a, a panic or a muck. Oh, I see what you're doing yeah. there. The door to the command center is just over there. Cover me while I get it open! Okay. Uh, I got you covered from above, Courier! Oh! My Valkyrie will clear a path for you! Yay! I managed to call in some vertebrate air support. Use these binoculars to pinpoint napalm strikes and let these fuckers burn! I forgot who you were. It's- if you want all-out war, Rancor, then you'll get all-out war! We'll make you pay for every inch of blood you have to take! Yeah, you'll definitely pay. <laughs> the nanos are tough. I mean, the shotguns make quick work of them, but you know. Sergeant Johnson died. Oh no, he didn't die. He's still alive. He's just sleeping in a pool of blood. Oh, this isn't a shotgun. I keep calling it a shotgun because it makes shotgun sounds, but uh -huh. yeah, rifle, whatever. So strong. Oh no, Johnson's down again. Is he? He'll get back up and see if so I can still talk to him. Yeah. If you can talk to a dead body, they're not really dead. Little known fact. Courier! My the door's open! Ooh. Let's breach the command center! Not yet! Okay, now! <laughs> Just in case it crashes on us. What the hell is What? What? What is this place? I, I, I can't see anything. But I can see everything. You're a robot. What is happening? Uh oh. Uh, what was that about? Yeah, what the hell was Rancor's that? Rancor's likely on the top deck, but he's got the place locked down. We need to find a way to get these doors open. Why are all the robots, like, having a freaking time and then dying? <laughs> yeah, that was weird. All right, we're gonna ignore that. We're still gonna fo focus eyes on the prize. We gotta take out Rancor. A dead navigator. Oh, I wonder if we'll find what's his name and then we can kill him too. Who? The, the one really annoying guy that is, uh, I realize that doesn't help. <laughs> the one, the one guy that's like... You're talking about Wei, robot arms? Yeah! Yeah. I wonder if we can kill him. Yeah, Wei was in here, I think, because this is like the bridge. Yes, but he's relocated. Ooh. Follow the eye! Oh, is this what's-his-name? Is this Lieutenant so-and-so that's here to help us? I don't know where you are. I don't even know where I am. But I can see you. What the hell is going on with these androids? Yeah, I think Lieutenant I think Lieutenant What's his name is is helping us by taking over the androids. I've been in the darkness for so long. Unable to feel anything. But now I can see a light. What? <laughs> nice light. Where am I going? Oh, there's the eye. The all-seeing eye. Did I do it? Did we break the ship? Oh. 
What did you just do? I didn't do anything. Whatever you did. It seems to have lifted the lockdown. Let's get to the top deck, quick. Oh, hey, look who it is. What the fuck is this? What's happening with everything? The ship's been hacked. Navigation, weapon systems, defenses. I've lost control of it all. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Rancor, surrender now. It's over. We still have the Archimedes II death ray, correct? Yes, it's still online. I have the Sea Finder right here. Fire it on our position. Say what now? Fire on the Liberator. Blast a hole through the hull of the ship. Do it now. Have you lost your mind? That'll kill us all. And then he shoots away and takes a Sea Finder and does it anyway. And then we only have a limited amount of time. Rancor, stop. This is not how this has to end. Fuck you. Fuck the NCR. Fuck the Legion. Fuck the whole goddamn world. If I'm going down, I'm taking everyone down with me. Fuck, he's lost it. Find some cover. Oh, and sure enough, we got a hole blasted in our hull. Yay! All the debris. So I don't even get the satisfaction of killing him. Except I probably will have to kill him anyway. There'll probably be some dumb cutscene where I have to fist fight him. Zach, can you please stop predicting every single twist? Courier, get up! We need to get out of here! Alright, let's go. Come on! We need to head for the flight deck. And we're gonna have to make a jump for it, sure, why not? We're gonna have to jump! Um, well, Rancor wasn't here, is he? No. Is Way okay? Oh, oh, oh God, Way, are you okay? Way, are you still alive? Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, so is, every, is everyone dead? Except for myself and AJ. I and don't you. know, maybe. I don't think the laser blast was that big, but maybe it destroyed everything on the ship except us. There's Rancor! Don't let him get away! Rancor, it's time to die! Yes, yes, you're definitely absorbing lots of bullets. I'm gonna shoot you with this overpowered rifle. Oh no, shoot him before he gets into the helicopter! Oh, let me guess, we're gonna have to chase after him. He's gonna get in the helicopter, and he's gonna get away. Ah, <laughs> oh, you can't get in your ship and we knock you back. Oh, and there he goes. And he just gets in the ship anyway. Yup. Screw you, Rancor. You suck. You suck, man. You a big, dumb suck, man. Oh, look, there's the ship. Let's get in that one. Um, let me... We're gonna have to jump! Or we can get closer. We won't have to jump as far. Yeah, that'll work. Oh no, the Liberator! How could this have happened? Bye, Mike! Oh shit, I'm, I'm gonna have to jump! Oh, no, my robot! <laughs> oh no! Oh no, the Liberator. We were gonna use that to take out the NCR and Kimball because we wanted to be traitors to the NCR, but now we'll never have the opportunity! I can't believe it. All has been lost. Oh, we can still stop Rancor. Forget Rancor! We've already lost! We've lost everything! Rancor still has a sea finder, so, you know, that's a thing. Rancor will never get away with this. I'll make sure of it, even if it kills me. Okay, sea finder's giving away his location. What are we waiting for? Let's kill this bastard already! Okay, we'll do it because you told us to! Climactic battle of the frontier, go! That's right, vertebrate battle against Rancor. Shoot him out of the sky. Wee! I, I can't even pretend to be care anymore. I'm sorry. I'm, I know I'm supposed to be the positive one, but it's exhausting. It's it, just yeah. exhausting. It is absolutely exhausting. And there's just going to be an infinite amount of vertebrates, too. No, th there isn't, but the boss battle still sucks. You kill these three guys, and you got to fight this final battle while there's a blue glowing thing coming right at you. Oh boy. Oh boy, Archimedes death ray. And we'll shoot you out of the sky. And then we'll move over to you. Just gonna creep on up to you. Now, the, See, there's a trade off. If you stay far away from him, then your missiles have fall off and they're, they're, they're gonna be less accurate. But if you get close to him, he'll hit you with the Archimedes two death ray and you'll have no time to react. And then, the, and then you'll, yeah, get knocked out of the sky. Wow. Yeah. This is not fun.
Would you like me to knock this out? Yeah, I'd... go for it. Yeah. Man, I really don't care. Yeah. All right, I'll take care of this. <laughs> I'm telling my girlfriend right now. I said, I said that this mod sucks, and she said, I'm sorry the mod is such a bot, and I said, it's okay, we're nearly done, we just have to do the, what, 20th phase of the boss battle? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the penultimate helicopter fight. I'm normally trying to find the best side of everything, but I hate everything about this battle. Yeah, it, this really sucks. Yeah. Like, the ba the boss battles in Silent Hill are more engrossing than this. <sighs> Did I get him? We're gonna get right up close to Rancor and put as many missiles into his butt as we can. Yeah. Oh, wait, we got hit by the blue beam, which is an instant kill no matter what you... Okay, and it didn't hit Rancor because reasons. Honestly, I wonder if the console command works on Rancor. Now, now's a good time to find out, eh? Now's a good freaking time to find out. Mmm, nope. Nope. You can't cheat your way out of this one. You actually have to shoot him out of the sky. All the missiles. All of the missiles in Rancor right now. Wait, it's going down. It's going down. Oh, yeah. Dead Rancor. Down he goes. Yay! Yay! Finally. Burn in hell, Rancor, no one loved you. And now for 45 minutes of cutscenes. Cause this mod thinks it's Metal Gear Solid. Don't forget about the monologues. <laughs> and there go all your help. Rancor, all your help is going away. They don't want to be around you anymore. <laughs> what? These fucking wheels weren't moving. <laughs> yeah, they weren't programmed, I guess. Uh, Oh, are they all gonna start shooting at us because the NCR is still mad? Oh, they might be actually, yeah. Any sudden movement and we'll blow you out of the sky. Identify yourself. We're not with him. Oh my god. We're not with the blue lasers either. It's not us. So Rancor is just gonna kill the, mo the majority of the NCR who are still technically allied with him. That does seem like a Rancor thing to do, doesn't it? Because he's mad. <laughs> Because he mad, lol. He mad, his liberator got destroyed, he angry. We're, he's gonna monologue, and we're gonna do a fight with him, like I'm fighting fucking Liquid Snake at the end of Metal Gear Solid. Maybe. Or are you gonna have me, you're gonna, yeah. Yeah, you're just fine. <laughs> fucking seriously. <laughs> seriously. All right, oh, and now he's in the Titan. How? How did he get in there? He teleported. Luckily for you, Rancor, we'll make it a quick death. We have this awesome, overpowered gun. This battle would probably be really awesome, but we're tired of it. We don't yeah, want to do I, it. Yeah, I don't want to fucking do this anymore. Only a scratch. Oh yeah, it's only a scratch. You're hardly worth my time. Overpowered weaponry, go! No remorse! Where'd he go? Oh wait, there's a blood stain behind you. Is that where he is? Oh, there he is. I don't give a fuck about your story! Your story sucks, Rancor! It's done. Rancor's dead. And you have the Seafinder. There's nothing more for us to do here. You okay? I'm fine! I've just had enough of it all. You and me Let's both. Let's not spend more time here than we need to. Let's just go. I've already radioed for someone to pick us up and take us back to Portland. They'll be here shortly. Cool. What do you want to do with the Seafinder? Because I want to smash it. It's up to you. I trust you'll know what to do with it. I think she might be Australian. You think that accent- I think her voice actress is Australian, and she's just doing a pretty good American accent. I don't know, yeah. I would I, like, cause sometimes she says things and it sounds- Upon examination of the Seafinder Prime, you discover a few pre-settings. You can fire a supercharged blast at your targeted location, maybe at the Legion, in Arizona, or the NCR in California. You know, basically the end of Lonesome Road, that's what we're doing right here. Destroy both, or neither, or whatever. What are we gonna do? Destroy the Legion, NCR, Le or self-destruct the space station, or keep the Seafinder, or just chuck it away. I'm gonna do nothing and throw the Seafinder away. See you later, Seafinder. If anyone finds you, they can blow up anything. Who cares? Yeah. I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be a huge letdown, just like the rest of the NCR campaign. Mm-hmm. 
Congrats. Hooray! We're all alive! Oh, they all actually did survive. Okay. Somehow. Don't ask why. It's cool that they're alive. Did you throw the Euclid Sea Finder <laughs> out of the vertebrate <laughs> while we were flying back? Yeah. Hopefully, nobody ever finds it again. <laughs> Especially some wastelander who thinks it's a toy and then vaporizes everything. <laughs> I've never actually seen that. <laughs> Did anybody on board the Liberator live? Not that I care. A number of people made it to the escape pods. Some of them are still in one piece and currently here at the radio station. Unfortunately, many didn't make it. But all the named characters, right? Why the hell are we here at the radio station? When everyone at the airport packed everything into the Liberator and flew off, they left the airport unguarded. So now, scavs have overrun the place. This is the last secured base left in the frontier. But I doubt that will last for long. So, NCR victory? Yay, what's the frontier NCR gonna do now? <sighs> I don't know. It's none of my concern anymore. I won't be sticking around here for long. Oh, by the way, the NCR still thinks that I killed everybody. Oh, crap, that's a plot point that's kind of left hanging, huh? Yeah, the NCR still thinks that I just murdered everyone. Oh, well. Once again, thank you, Mod, for making me wanted by the NCR <laughs> and then doing nothing about it. <laughs> There's nothing here for me anymore. This place has taken everything from me. Not John. I just need to get away from here. Find a new place. Start a new beginning. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Wherever the wind takes me. As long as it's away from here. That's all that matters. Why don't we get another companion? Come with us, AJ! That's kind of you, but... You remind me of everything that's happened here. Understandable! It would be better if we never saw each other again. Goodbye, Courier. May you find solace in your travels. Same to you, buckaroo! It's going to be a lot of work to recover from everything that has happened. But that's what I signed up for. I'm ready for whatever challenges come next. Wait, you signed up to follow Blackthorn. He's dead now. So now what? I'm going to help turn this radio station into our new HQ. We'll have things up and running in no time. Good luck with that. Thank you. I hope you stick around for a little while, Courier. We could always use your help. I'm going to leave as soon as I can. Hi, Gray. I can't believe Rancor screwed us over like this. I can. I know General Blackthorn had his flaws, but he didn't deserve to die the way he did. <sighs> it won't be easy for us to hold together without a leader. Maybe you can be a leader, Gray. I won't abandon the frontier. I chose to come here with Blackthorn, so I'll stay here if I have to. I'll even lead what's left of the army. Yay! But our fight is no longer with the NCR back in California. Our fight is here in the frontier. Not to steal resources and force out the locals, but to turn this into a civilized community where we work together and respect one another. Maybe then... We can finally put an end to the senseless bloodshed. That's the first sensible thing I've heard. Maybe you'll succeed at that, so good luck. Oh, before you go, here's your 2,000 caps. <laughs> for completion of your tour to the frontier. I know it doesn't seem like much anymore, but I like to make sure all of my debts have been paid off. You've been an exceptional soldier, Courier. I hope to see you around. <laughs> nice. Wow. Private John, holy shit. I can't believe I survived this long. I can't maybe either. Maybe I really am a badass after all. All the girls are totally going to dig me now. I, maybe. So now what? Screw the frontier. I think I'll take on the Mojave next. I'll be the one who rules over New Vegas. Everyone will bend the knee to me. <laughs> if you do end up being the ruler of the Mojave, don't forget who put you there, buddy. Yeah, don't forget it was me. And Mike. Oh, you betcha, Courier. Now, where did I leave my helmet? How's it going, Badger? I never trusted Rancor. There was always something shady about him. Then why didn't but you- But I never expected he'd cause this much damage. We nearly lost everything. But not all is lost. We can still rebuild from this. We just have to keep our spirits up. Cool, what are you gonna do now? We'll probably never be able to return to New California now. But I think I've grown used to the frontier. Maybe we can turn this into a place worth living in. Sometimes it just boils down to perspective. Cool, have fun with that. Goodbye, Courier. 
I hope to see you around. You won't. And so came to an end the courier's exploits in the frontier. With Rancor and Blackthorn dead, and the NCR in complete disarray, much of the exiles disbanded. However, there were those who stayed behind. There were some who saw it as an opportunity to begin life as a vigilante peacekeeper, whilst others took the dark path and became the very thing they vowed to destroy. Private John did that. Whilst the airport was <laughs> overrun by scavengers, they did not take up arms against the NCR civilians. Soon after, what remained of Goose Hollow became a town run by the scavs. It prospered, but would, on one fateful day, burn to the ground as Junkfleet's mayor sought to erase all traces of the exiles. <clears throat> Ashley Jane Terra, now one of the few remaining high-level members of the NCR exiles, found herself in an impossible situation. Angel's justice. She was forced to either abandon the now splintered exiles, or rebuild them from the ground up. She took the chance to learn from Blackthorn's mistakes and began peacekeeping efforts. Though successful at first, she eventually found herself disillusioned by the endeavor and decided to leave the exiles entirely without notice, walking into a blizzard never to be seen again. <laughs> Great. PTSD. Cool. After the collapse of the exiles, Gray took it upon himself to try and rebuild. He took those still loyal to Blackthorn and formed a new splinter cell of the exiles. His efforts led to little success. A splinter As of a with splinter no cell. serious threats and no mission, the commanding officers became restless and wasted limited resources on gambling and other obscenities. <laughs> wow, fine. Gray left the exiles in response. He burned his uniform and traveled to Junk Flea, where he spent the rest of his days trading and drinking. Jeez. With Valerius dead and Ostia destroyed, the Northern Legion quickly disbanded. Most simply integrated into the native scav population, or used their fighting skill to form raider gangs. A choice few returned to the Legion fort, where Caesar had them put to the cross for their failure. <laughs> With no guardian to protect them, the Church of Eternal Life was quickly wiped out by violent outsiders in search of their treasure. Oh, yeah, because you have to kill the Guardian to join them. Irvington continued to prosper, even as more and more people began to grow sick. After years of suffering and dozens dead, Dr. Pavis finally created a cure for the disease. With the plague ended, Irvington would grow to rival Junk Flea in size and influence, How? becoming a beacon of civilization in Portland. With the salt mine gone, thanks to the courier, Salt Town quickly died off. Worries that a salt shortage would ensue disappeared as new veins and mines were discovered. These mines were run by those who had suffered in Salt Town, and so the workers were treated with respect and dignity. The frontier became known as a haven for miners, with even workers from Quarry Junction Making the journey Quarry up north, Junction. Quarry. the Trocalli were unable to restore power to Nobody their generator. Nobody cares about them. And were doomed to die a slow death within their bunker. Nice. Good night, sweet princes. A few brave scouts attempted to find a new home, but they never returned, and the Trocalli quickly went extinct. Good. Though Dr. Hurt understood that the courier only did as the last Pathfinder had asked, he still felt as though he had failed his old friend. They were a horrible gang! Dr. Hurt would leave the frontier and connect with a follower's chapter. There, he used his medical knowledge to prevent an outbreak of syphilis. Yay! Though he was hailed as a hero, this did little to assuage Hurt's conscience. With the NCR's victory in the frontier, Jolene slipped quietly back into the ranks of the NCR Espionage Division, assisting in the cleanup. Oh, so she was part of the normal NCR. I guess so. <laughs> Though he would never truly forgive himself for Sarah's death, Lot was soon able to face the bright light ahead. Through his time with the courier, he had come to terms with the death of his only family. No, he didn't. He just died. He slipped peacefully into the darkness. No, he just died. And so it came to an end. The courier's magnum opus, a final adventure to the unknown. No one cares about a lot. Why does he have a slide card? Why doesn't Donovan have one? 
Yeah, good Why point. did he get one and Donovan didn't? <laughs> the road to Hoover Dam now lay before the courier, an empty slate to be carved. Because war, war never changes. Collect your gear, gear return, head to the gambling tour bus to return to the Mojave. How long do you think a bus going from Oregon to the Mojave would, would take? <laughs> I feel like... Depending, uh, well, considering it's 200 years later and the infrastructure is probably shit, uh, very, very long. Forever? Are we all waiting for the bus? Wow, you are sallow, my friend. <laughs> Get your candy, cigarettes, and snacks here. All your needs for our trip to fabulous New Vegas. You've got to be absolutely freezing. Why the hell are you out here? What else is an out-of-work candy girl to do? Besides, this is a better living than you'd think, and I don't worry about some jerk asking for a cut. That aside, you know it's a long way to New Vegas, right? A little snack will keep the hunger away and a smile on your face. I am kind of hungry. Watching slideshows makes me peckish. I'll take those potato crisps. I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> I don't think they matter. This looks like a normal bus stop. <laughs> and a normal bus. That's functional, all right. Entry fee of 2,000 caps. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> it really doesn't. So basically, the Crusaders, the Legion, and the NCR. The major factions, all dead. All gone. The scavs got everything they wanted. They can live their lives without interference. Yeah. Hooray! What what is the end of the, the Legion playthrough? Legion conquer everything. Legion did the Legion conquer everything. NCR so if you go did. through the NCR campaign. Everyone dies and everyone's miserable. Well, not everyone. The scabs are happy. But it seems like... Because I, I feel like I made mostly good choices when in the NCR playthrough. When the choices were presented, I made mostly good choices. There weren't very many uh, uh, options, but yes. You, you made good choices, I think. As far as I can tell, and I'm sure someone will correct me on this. Actually, nobody will because I doubt anybody actually finished this fucking mod. <laughs> as far as I can tell, that is the canonical ending of this mod. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of variance. That's pretty much just the ending of the NCR quest. Which is just a massive disappointment. Yep. <sighs> this mod, if this mod had been the fun side quests and the Legion is there, that would have been great. I, I actually enjoyed that. I enjoyed the little riding on a helicopter, shooting at stuff minigame. I thought that was fun. The cult was fun. The, co the companions were great. Yep, the cult was fine. The companions were interesting. I do wish they would have made it more evident that Jolene was a member of the actual NCR and not the NCR Exiles, which made it really, I'm going to say, that made it really confusing when it's the NCR Exiles and then there's the actual NCR, but the NCR Exiles are like, we're the real NCR, so we're only going to refer to ourselves as NCR and you don't know which one we're talking about. Yeah, it's a bit weird. They should have been like, I don't know, Blackthorn's Rangers or something. Just fucking come up with a name that isn't the NCR. Yeah, yeah. The Lodge was super cool. That was enjoyable. Um, even though they made me kill bunnies, and I wasn't happy about that. The Lodge was enjoyable. All of the side quests were fun. I enjoyed doing most of them. There's at least 100 locations to explore, and we barely scratched the surface of them. There's still a lot of places we could explore. I tried to show off some of them in my Legion playthrough, but there's still a lot of... Rocks to unturn over here, and a lot of people to meet, and funny things to hear. But it's just you, that's you got to go find them. It's a it's a game out of exploration. You got to go find them. Yeah, you have to go find all the side quests, which is fine. Play through the frontier and just don't do the NCR quest. And then I don't know if you can leave if you haven't done the NCR quest. Uh, you you can if you join one of the other factions and do their quest. Oh, uh, you have to do you have to do somebody's quest. Well, you you either have to do their quests or just console command yourself. C O C Good Springs and back in back uh, in the lobby. I guess you could do that. Yeah, just do all. Once you've finished doing all the little side quests that you wanted to do, either do a Legion campaign or do a um I, Crusaders. Do a Crusaders. I kind of wish that we had done the Crusaders playthrough. Yeah, I don't know if it's better. It is. Yeah, I wish we had done the Crusaders playthrough and just said, fuck the NCR, I'm not doing any of this. Mm-hmm. Because, once again, another mod has ended where the NCR thinks that I'm a terrorist. <laughs> but not really, because they don't remember, because it was all in a mod. Yeah. Yeah, there was some really... The, the scripting was really cool, but it was burdened by how bad the rest of the mod was. Mm-hmm. I'm more forgiving of it, but it is still... That helicopter, that vertebrate battle is the worst They're of the so worst. Many vertebrate battles. There were what four? 
You did it once. You don't need to do it three more times. Mm -hmm. Legitimately, no exaggeration. The nightmare section was probably two and a half hours, two and a half hours long. And I I think I'm underestimating. Yeah, probably three or so. Yeah. Like two and a half hours for a nightmare, for a hallucination sequence. It it really feels like they wanted to show off all the awesome things they could do with the technology. And make no mistake, they can make this fucking engine dance. But... Yeah, it, the guy that the guy that did the scripting. It's an amazing tech demo, but it's at the end of the day, it's just not fun to play. Yeah, I don't know. I always feel kind of weird complaining about a game being too long because some <laughs> people actually enjoy that. And that was when Alien Isolation came out. I knew we were gonna bring that up. One of the complaints was that it was too long. There are so many sections in the NCR Exiles campaign that do not feel the cutscenes are cool, but they're not what you expect from a fallout game. Yeah. Turret sections. Okay. Maybe one or two of them. That makes sense. Yeah. Do like one playing from another person's point of view. Okay. Maybe a little bit here and there, a nightmare section. Okay. We could do a little bit of a nightmare section, but it was uh, a tank combat section. It was an aerial flight combat section. Yeah. Uh, So, so much of it was a wide variety of game genres, but not really fallout. But there's, like, there's so many stupid, like, the thing with the Trochili, like, why is that part of the NCR quest? I don't get what everyone's rage is with that. It's just so weird. It is weird, but Fallout has always been weird. A race of l- lizard creatures in the, that live in the sewer doesn't seem so far out for me. I honestly don't get the complaints about that. I think, like, the weird, the weird like, sexual part to it is just odd. Yeah, I can kind of get behind that. People don't that's, like the queen. I don't like that. But the snake people in general, I, I mean, I, I I really don't get that. They needed better voice actors. <laughs> yes. They needed better voice actors for the snake people. If the snake people had talked normally... If and all maybe, of them had talked normally. If all of them had talked normally and maybe once out of every three or four sentences they would like do that. Yeah. There's a bit when we were talking to the Trochili that I legitimately was like, I'm done. To- I want to get out of this conversation as fast as possible. Because his voice was so fucking annoying. Which one was that? He was the one that went, S-s-s-s-s. every s- other s- word s- <laughs> was s- this. But that that's all of them. I, you know. Uh, they were infuriating. There was the death claw sex thing, which... I, I never even stumbled across that. Yeah, I'm glad we never stumbled across that, because that's weird. For, for a creature that fine, you've got a romance. Like we did... With Draco. Oh, that's right. We did do that. Yeah. Man, we're weird. <laughs> I think we've made our voices, our opinions known on this mod. Yeah. I've enjoyed our experiences, and even the experiences that weren't that great, I'm glad I could I could share them with you, because I've had some laughs, albeit sometimes at your suffering, at your expense. I feel but... like most of the time was at my expense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you feel that way. 